ABE is all students, all levels, all subjects. And technology works really well to make that happen. Otherwise, you can get really overwhelmed and feel like I can't possibly meet everyone's needs. But with the technology, you can. Susan's really good because as soon as she gets a piece of technology, she goes way too far with it. She explores every aspect of it. In fact, she comes into my office to tell me what she's doing and I don't really want to hear it. I actually will give her more technology just to get her out of here. I would say the biggest way that she's influenced uh, me is she's kind of spearheaded the use of Play-Doh. Uh, Play-Doh is a, a tutorial program, uh, a computer-based tutorial program. And um, we uh, had it installed in our classroom, we had it installed in uh, numerous classrooms, but Susan really took the lead in implementing it into the uh, curriculum and getting the students to use it. We needed to set up actual classes and by setting up a class you could monitor students, you could get the, um, the actual scores, percentages of the course completed, um, and it was wonderful. And here, even if we don't have the knowledge, if we never used computer before, just to come here and start to just push the first buttons and start to, to play in the, in play you know, because in Play-Doh we need to use you know, different kind of buttons on the computer. Those small things, they're going to help us in our job. You know, and the place where we work. A lot of them are, are just learning about technology. They're very fearful of the computers. And um, as far as doing the different projects, they get pretty excited because then they can help their children when they have some projects too. One way I integrate technology is using the um, interactive whiteboard. Um, we use it for reading. It helps to keep the students um, on the same page. I've scanned in a lot of the pages. Another cool tool in, in my classroom is the uh, wireless um, slate, it's called an airliner, and um, I use it when I play games with my students. Um, I'll divide up into teams and um, put an activity up on the um, smart board and then they pass it around so they can make their selection, they can stay in their groups and just pass it around and not have to go to the board. Okay, three, four, got 200. Winner for today. Yes, group three over here. Yay. Mentoring has been the key thing. I think people being around Susan, having direct contact, uh, working with them. My mentee, I said, what do you want to do? She says, I want a, a website where my students can have activities um, that will reinforce what I'm doing in the classroom. We wanted some place where we could have the students being able to put their work, but also where we could put um, things that we created for common use. We have multiple teachers, they each have their own play, web page, and then they can have student work put on their web page, and then jointly we have programs that we have created um, using other sources, namely Kia at first, where we can have games and things like that to check student learning and make it more fun. Um, we also put all sorts of resources on it so that if the students were having troubles finding a dictionary or something like that, it could easily be found. Um, and we just had fun. Uh, Susan would include things like web searches for uh, St. Patrick's Day. In fact, that's what my students did this morning. Um, and uh, when we found that there was something the students had troubles with, like uh, fractions, we would find all sorts of web pages and uh, worksheets that other teachers, other places had made and we brought them all into one place so that our students could use them as well. We're still using it. It just keeps changing a little bit here and there and as we add um, or change things. Technology has always been integral to ABE here. It's one of our um, school-wide goals for all the students. I think I want teachers to not be afraid to try I'm not an expert at anything, um, but I'm not afraid to go try a project. And when I get stuck, I know there's people that I can go to and say, help, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do this? Um, and there, there are people that can help me. So um, I would say it's just trying, breaking it into small little discrete units really helps. Don't try and tackle the world in a day. She's very generous and willing to share what she's learned with anyone. And so that makes my frustration for not being as techy as I would like to be minimal. I have students that have come back five to eight years later because they need help, they're in college, or they've decided they've changed their goals. And, 
And that is gratifying to know that they know that they can come here and they can get the things they need no matter what level they're at. And it gives the students, first of all, a feeling that they're successful and then a real feeling of confidence. Later in the future, I believe it's going to help because it, at least here, you're at least getting basic computer skills where that will help you. That's like an extra for you on your resume. Everything's turning into technology, so I think it helps a lot. I feel very proud when the, when the, when the students are excited, you know. It makes my day. Um, and I see students learning. I see on some of the games they play that I've seen um, pre-GED um, test scores go up 50 points because of vocabulary. So yeah, I'm pretty proud. <laughs>